Today we're going to talk about a, um, a robot project that we've built uh, using a Raspberry Pi. It uses AWS Artificial Intelligence Services. The objective of this project is to inspire people uh, and students to build simple robots effortlessly using AWS AI services. So let's do a quick demo. This here is the chatbot that's powered by Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex uses natural language understanding so that the robot understands what, what we want it to do. So I can uh, interact with, uh, with the robot using my voice or with typed commands. So I'm gonna turn on the microphone and talk to the robot now. Move forward. Moving forward. What just happened is that Lex understood what my intent was and based on that, using IoT, the message was sent to the robot and it executed. I can also say, for example, turn right. Turning right. The robot can also look at objects and tell us uh, what it is. For example, I'm going to place this pair of scissors in front of it and I'm going to uh, ask the robot, this time I'm going to type, what do you see? Robot is looking. Robot is trying to recognize. I see a scissors and I am 98.45% sure. So uh, it takes a picture of the object, it uploads it to Amazon S3, has Amazon recognition, uh, look at the picture and tell us what's in that picture. And then once the response comes back from Amazon recognition, it uses Amazon Polly to actually convert that text to speech. So it synthesized speech and the robot actually speaks in the voice of Amazon Polly. Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm a solution architect in the public sector team in EMEA. So the architecture of this project is about enabling artificial intelligence into the robot. And we will do this in three ways. First of all, we will use the service called Amazon Lex to enable natural language onto the robot. So we are able to talk to it in the same way we talk to each other. So Amazon Lex will fulfill the intents through a couple of Lambda functions that will talk with the robot through IoT. The other service that we're gonna use is Amazon Recognition. With Amazon Recognition, we will allow the robot to see and to tell us what is seen through the camera. Robot is trying to recognize. I see a lighting and I am 92.99% sure. And the third service is Amazon Polly. So with Amazon Polly, we'll be able to listen back to our robot. So Amazon Polly is a text-to-speech service which dynamically converts your text into M3 that will be able to listen. So with these two services, what we do is we'll be able to speak to listen and to give vision capabilities to the robot. As a summary, we really like to encourage people, the students, and anyone interested in building robots and enabling with artificial intelligence services without being a machine learning expert to do so through AWS.